Welcome to another Magnus's Loot Crate. I am your host as always, Magnus Deacon. Now, it was suggested in the last Loot Crate video that I did that I start adding the animation models for the Transformers into these Loot Crate videos so you can kind of get an idea of just how close that particular bot is to the animation. So, from here on out, underneath the little Magnus TV that you have in the top corner, you will see this. It's neat, ain't it? So, that will give you an idea of just how close these bots come to the generalized, you know, look of the cartoon. For those of you who are interested, it's not a bad idea. Thank you, Joe, for the suggestion. And with that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's just get right on into this loot crate. Ba weep grana, weep ninny bong. Folks, I will admit, this is a heck of a bot. This is my fan's toys hoodlum. He is a definite, he's a good looking figure. I'll give him that. He's got the hot rod look. Now, people have complained about him. Uh, I paid $89.99 for him, and I'd already known about the problems before I even bought him. So, I was willing to take that hit. Now, as you can see, he's got a very really good looking bot mode, and people have complained about him. I think it's because Fans Toys made, uh, designed this figure like a number of years ago, and I think they just went ahead with the design they had, which I don't think was perfect, but people still complained about it. Me, I took that into consideration before I bought him, so. He's not perfect, but he's not horrible either. He's got a great looking bot mode. And you can see from the animation model that he is still, <laughs> he's decent looking. He looks good as Hot Rod. So he'll fit that spot on your shelf. And he's not, he's not a bad fit. Now there is a problem with paint chipping on the very hood of the car, like the very front of the hood of the car. And Fans Toys has done things to remedy that, like selling you like a little pad you can put in between the hood and his waist. So that's a thing, but let's go ahead, transform him up and take a look at that delicious hot roddy car mode. You're gonna ride, Dano, ride in style. Now folks, this is a nice looking car mode. I mean, I like it. It is a bit of a pain in the butt to get him from point A to point B, but I've learned with fans toys that sometimes you haven't quite turned the thing quite far enough for it to lock in or pushed it in far enough. I've had those problems with this hot rod, I will admit, but he's it's still a gorgeous looking car mode. I mean, I'm, I mean, you can just see from it. Now, hot. The Hoodlum here, uh, Coop, and a couple others do come with Target Master robots because later on in the Transformers show they did become Target Masters. But they also come with their original guns, which is fine by me. But, you know, like I say, I, I'm definitely big on the, you know, the car, <laughs> the car mode for Hot Rod. I kind of, as much as everybody hates Hot Rod, I still like the car mode. I mean, it, it is a hot rod. Just no two ways about it. So, folks, that is FT-17 Hoodlum. And there you go. Old timer. That's something you'll never be if you don't get back to the city. Save it, cup. Now, folks, this is FT-22 Coot by Fans Toys. And I do have to admit, at my age, Cup is kind of my spirit animal in a lot of ways. I'm old, he's old. I, it's funny, when I was a kid, I identified more with Hot Rod, you know, the fast, sporty, young, but the older I get, the more I identify with Cup. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. Now, as you can see here, Coot is definitely a nice looking bot, and he is he's just an awesome figure i like his gun i've i've you know painted his gun for magnus of farts and crafts and i put the toy hacks labels on him so he is a little uh enhanced i guess is the way to put it but he definitely is a good looking bot and he comes with a replaceable face 
that has a cigar in his mouth. And for those of you dumb enough to have lost both of the cigars that they sent you, super glue. Have you heard of it? Yeah, I super glued a cigar into his mouth because that face with the open bit in the mouth just looked kind of stupid without the cigar. So buy you a thing of super glue and take care of that little problem so you won't lose the damn things. But Coot is a good looking bot. Let's get him transformed up and take a look at that. I can't say delicious car mode. But <laughs> let's look at that old beat up pickup truck. Now, in keeping with fans' toys, Coot is a little bit of a pain in the butt to transform, I will not lie to you. But at the same time, he once you once you get the idea of turn this this way and move this that way, it's not as hard as most people make it out to be. But his truck mode looks pretty good. If you compare it to the little animation model down there, he he looks pretty good. I mean just the, the sculpt Fans Toys has for both modes usually is really good. I can't lie about that. I haven't gotten into the triple changes yet, but that's neither here nor there. This, I have to admit, Coot's vehicle mode is pretty decent. And with all that being said, that was Fans Toys FT-22 Coot. The Transformers will return after these messages. This video brought to you by Bob Ross Positive Energy Drink. When you absolutely need to paint all of the happy little trees right this instant, trust Bob Ross Positive Energy Drink. Side effects may include an incessant urge to paint, a grand moustache, poofy hair, hallucinations, flashbacks, Vietnam flashbacks, the inability to see the bad in other people, and the voice of Mr. Rogers. We now return to the Transformers. Ron and Cooper still outside the city. Now, folks, I'm going to go ahead and admit, just from the get-go on this, that I believe this figure is one of the most difficult to pull off correctly. This is Fans Toys FT24 Rouge. It's not Rogue. I get how people mispronounce, yeah, mess that up because Rouge and Rogue do look a lot alike. But at the same time, Rouge is one of my favorites because... Honestly, I was surprised when they added female Autobots into the show to start with, because, you know, they're robots. Why do they need male and female? But, whatever, they, they decided to do it, so why not? But I do like this character. RC is one of my favorite characters in the Transformers realm, so to speak. And she is definitely a nice looking one. Now, Fans Toys did a really good job with Rouge here. Uh, it was a $99.99 that I spent on this. And yes, I've done the toy hacks, the repro labels on this figure, and she looks great. I mean, I, I've got no complaints about this figure. Now, in the next part, that's the part where the pain in the butt kind of comes in. So, let's go ahead and get her transformed up and take a look at that nice little car mode of hers. Alright, so this is RC's vehicle, this is Rouge's vehicle mode, excuse me. It looks pretty good to me. It doesn't quite have the right slope to the nose by the animation model that you see below me, but it does look pretty good. I mean, it could have stood to have a little bit more of a slope to the front end. But I, I get the feeling RC is kind of a difficult bot to pull off, because... And I've heard this said a lot of times, one mode or the other has to suffer in some cases. With RC, I think the car mode has to suffer a little bit, or the robot mode, if you're going to get either one quite right. But at the same time, I've got no complaints. Now, the transformation is a horrible pain in the hind end. Just fair warning. Because it's really fiddly. I mean, there's... It... it You'd have, you'd have to kind of see, see somebody transform the figure just to get the idea that, wow, that's a pain in the butt. Because most of her car mode 
is fit up in the little wings on her shoulders, her, her backpack, as it were. But she is a really nice figure, and I like her. You know, I, I don't transform her very often, but at the same time, I prefer her in robot mode. I mean, that's how I plan to display her on the shelf. So, there you go. But that, that is Fans Toys FT24 Rouge. I'm stuck up here! Everybody's gotta be somewhere. Now, right off the bat, I have to admit, I really like this figure. This is Fans Toys FT29 Quietus. I paid $159.99 for him on Big Bad Toy Store, and I have to admit, he's a good-looking figure. I like him a lot. Now, I can, I can honestly say he's not absolutely perfect, but... Then again, this is the first version. They've, they are coming out with one that's FT29T, which has got a little bit of a darker purple on the body, and I think sort of a slight purplish added to the arms and legs. But to be honest with you, I, I still like this figure a lot. I mean, he, he's Cyclonus, so. Make of that what you will. He did come with a Target Master robot and he's a great looking figure I mean he to me he's to me, he's absolutely perfect Cyclonus I don't have to have the colors be exact to the cartoon because just the sculpt and the bodywork on him is, is awesome and speaking of sculpt and bodywork here's the tricky part now we're gonna transform him and take a look at that sweet sweet jet mode of his Cyclonus, transform and attack! Now, as you can see here, that the transformation kind of boggles the mind. Just from, you get that long nose, as you can see in the front, the way the wings are, and the jet mode is great, as far as I'm concerned. I really like it, and... It took me a couple of tries to figure him out, to be totally honest with you, because like first try I didn't have the cockpit all the way closed down and locked. But with fans toys, I've said before, you know, I'll say it millions of times, it's getting some certain bit of it turned exactly the way it's supposed to be, because if you're even slightly off, it's just not gonna lock together. That's just the way it works. But this is Fans Toys FT29 Quietus, and there you go. <laughs> Folks, thank you very much for joining me for another Magnus' Loot Crate. I hope you had fun, and I hope you liked the bots you were shown. I'm going to, from here on out, probably pre-record a, a lot of the bits of these, just to kind of be able to go ahead and have the videos ready, so to speak and it'll, it'll just make it easier on me because from here on out I will be going back into the mentoring shtick with my company and if I've got somebody else in the truck with me recording these is going to be a lot harder to do so I mean that's just the way it works I'm doing this so I can make more money so I can do more fun things like maybe actually go to TFCon here and there and have more money to buy more loot so that I can show you what's new on the loot crate folks thank you very much for stopping by don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you next time <laughs>